Good afternoon. <clears throat> On September 18th, the Federal Reserve began their long-awaited easing cycle with an initial 50 basis point rate cut. Now, at the time of the cut, general economic data, along with inflation data, had been moving increasingly lower. But in the days immediately following the cut, newly available economic data pivoted and began to improve significantly with beats in GDP and then in several measures of the labor market. This development has caused many to think that the Fed may be premature. For some perspective, the Fed has never begun an easing cycle without at least three consecutive downward adjustments to the fund rate. Could this time be different? Well, according to the futures markets, expectations are for less than 50 basis points of easing between now and the end of the year. This is down significantly from the more than 75 basis points priced in at the time of the Fed's ease. Now, throughout the Fed's pause period that began back in July 2023, the futures markets have developed a distinct pattern of pricing in aggressive cuts initially, only to back those cuts back as data stays persistently strong. Now, the current narrative that continues to gather steam is that perhaps we are repeating recent history and that the economy could defy expectations again. <laughs>